Tonight, the VA is promising to help a local veteran who is trying to get mental health treatment after our On Your Side team began asking questions. The veteran waited months to see a doctor, but at the last minute, his appointment was canceled due to a training day. So how could this happen with a patient with suicidal thoughts? The veteran reached out to On Your Side's Ken Amaro for help. I joined the military um, about five months after 9-11. It's been nearly 10 years since Lamar Wingate took off his Army uniform and returned to civilian life. But he is still wearing the scars of his service, among them suicidal thoughts, which is a big problem in the veteran community. Like with most veterans, Wingate reached out to the Department of Veteran Affairs for help, but he says his experience has been blurred lines. Uh, they, they make it a challenge. In the meantime, he says his battle with depression and anxiety knows no end. How far has it taken you? Uh, well, I, I, I once tried to uh, commit suicide. Wingate says he's been trying to get an appointment for mental health treatment for months. Wingate told us he finally received an appointment for August, but it was canceled. I was told that the doctor had to leave. He was called out. That appointment was rescheduled for December 3rd, but then he received a call from the VA. Unfortunately, it is a training day where we don't see patients. What was your reaction? I was angry. If tomorrow the military needed me, I, I, would, I wouldn't think twice. And, uh, but when it comes to getting the help that I need, I have to, you know, you know, I feel like I'm begging. According to the VA, 20 veterans die by suicide every day. The agency has made a commitment to help those veterans. I called in May, you know, I called in April, May. How many veterans lost their life between April and May till today? This veteran wants to know why he is falling through the cracks. I reached out to the VA and they told me that they can't discuss the veterans' issues because of privacy laws. But they will reach out to Mr. Wingate to get him taken care of. In the meantime, the VA's message is clear. If you're in crisis, you can call their hotline. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.